Reggie and I had a conversation. He was like, can we agree to stop talking about it? Mob James was on the phone. I actually spoke to Mob James since we talked about it. He feels a little bad that I, that I did the interview with FG because Mob James and I were friends. But I told him at the time, I, I never knew this about you and me either. And, and I, I had to tell the story. He wanted me to bury the story. Understand how not only Rick, you know, they all know the same people. They all grew up with the same people. FG's a little bit younger, but um, they, they all know the same circle. But Reggie Wright actually texted me after our episode dropped last Thursday, and he said he was going to issue a public apology. So does that... All this shit that he went through. All right, what I want to speak about is uh, the fact that Mob James is in denial. He wore a wire on FG. FG is a very, very rep reputable person in uh, California, in Compton, in the federal prison system. Everybody knows that this guy is not a liar. He has evidence. Mob James wore a wire. Mob James was working with the FBI for years and years. He wasn't working on them simply for one case. He was working with them as a career informant his job was to go out into the field and get people arrested and the fbi compensated him for it that's what the fbi does they have paid informants it's not like he got caught up on a case and he snitched on the people on this case no he's out there working in a general capacity and i think it's so sad that reggie wright jr and mob james have ruined their friendship with alex alonzo simply because of the, of the, of the decision that mob james made mob james made the decision to be an informant and completely denies it instead of being real with the public and say look man yes i work with the fbi and spinning it in a way that makes sense like he could say look man look i was a g i had the perfect reputation in the streets now i'm known as an informant that goes to show you that the streets ain't worth it so you kids should take this lesson and understand that you shouldn't get involved in the streets because it's a facade the whole concept of a gangster is a facade at the end of the day we're all human beings we're all people and at the end of the day we all want to be free none of us want to go to prison he could have said that but he's just completely denying it and denying it and trying to black use whatever power he has in the youtube media world to blackball people who even talk about it mob james you are an informant and you need to own it you can turn this into a positive you're not in the streets no more so who cares if you're a snitch or not you're not selling dope you're not in the gang so why are you so concerned about your reputation who cares if you're a snitch a lot of people snitch a lot of high-powered reputable famous gangster snitch you're not the only one you can take this and let the youth know yeah i snitched and guess what i had the perfect reputation and, and i snitch so that goes to show you that the people that you look up to they're gonna snitch because we're humans and we don't want to go to prison so yeah man i think it's sad that reggie wright jr and mob james are doing this because if snoop dogg snitched and it was evidence Reggie Wright would not back down because you know he hates Snoop but he's being biased because it's Mob James sad